Welcome to video six of the Lead Guitar Quick Start series. In this lesson, we're gonna learn a technique that is very important for you to kind of kick up your self-expression on the guitar, and that is bending. We're gonna cover two basic types of bends in this lesson. One is half-step bends, and the other one's whole-step bends. And let me just tell you right now, your fingers are probably going to be pretty sore after this, just like when you were first starting to learn your basic chords, but don't let that stop you. Keep practicing through it, and after you know a few weeks, your fingers will toughen up and bends will get easier for you. Let's get started with a half step bend. Come up here to the fifth fret of the G string, and that's the note we're gonna be working with. And we're gonna be basically using a minor pentatonic scale, G minor pentatonic scale for this lesson, so. Third finger on the fifth fret out there, and the basic idea behind a half step bend is to bend that string up to where that note that you're bending up to is the exact same pitch that is one half step higher or one fret higher. So that's the note that we're shooting for as we bend up this fifth fret of the third string. It's always good to double check yourself when you're working on your bends. So do that right now, just put your third finger on the fifth fret and a kind of unwritten rule that you're gonna wanna do when you bend strings is to use the fingers that you have available to you behind the finger that you're bending with to help push up on the string. That just makes it a lot easier on you. So put your second and first fingers right behind your third finger there and use it to help push up on that string. And a lot of times my thumb for half step bends, it won't really come over the fretboard too, or too much because half step bends aren't really that hard, but sometimes you need a little extra leverage so your thumb can kind of come help out to get some leverage over the fretboard right there. And when you do this kind of stuff, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you double check the pitch of your bends to make sure you're shooting for that right note and the pitch is just right on target. Now, as far as the physical technique for the bend, if you'll notice, I'm kind of just pivoting with my wrist there and my forearm is open. Now, you can see my forearm moving, right? It kind of looks like this motion right here. So do that over and over again until you get used to the physical action of bending and until you get really good at matching that bent fifth fret up to the same pitch as the sixth fret. So half step bends aren't that hard on your fingers, but whole step bends are a bit of another story. They're a little bit tougher on your fingers. So to do this, to work on our whole step bends, let's go to the sixth fret of the B string right here with your pinky. And when you bend this note up, a whole step bend, you're gonna to wanna to be shooting for that note that's two frets away or a whole step away. So that's the note we're gonna be shooting for, the pitch we're gonna be shooting for. But our pinky's gonna be back here on the sixth fret. And your, all the other fingers can come behind your pinky and help push up on that note since we have to push up even more for this whole step bend. So do that and push it up just over and over and double check yourself. And you'll see my thumb is way over the fretboard here. For bends like this, I found out that that really helps to get some leverage and you turn into Eric Clapton when you do this, which is awesome, right? So this may be a little bit more difficult for you at first if your fingers aren't strong enough or quite used to bending, but over time, you'll get better at that. So now that you have the concept of what a half step and a whole step bend is, let's apply them to a few little simple licks. This first lick is just using the minor pentatonic scale and a half step bend. Basically what we're doing, we're gonna go back to the fifth fret of the G string where we learned how to do a half step bend. Put your third finger on there. Put your first and second fingers to help bend that up a half step. Let it back down and then come back here to the third fret with your first finger. Pick that note. And then end the lick on this G root note right here with your third finger on the D string. So that whole lick really slowly, half step bend. And you're gonna wanna make sure you double check your pitch too. To make sure it's right on. Now for a whole step bend, let's go back to the fret where we learned our whole step bend on. The sixth fret of the B string with your pinky. Get all your fingers on there to help push up on this string for a whole step bend. Push it up, let it back down, and then come back down here to the third fret. 
with that B string with your index finger. And then walk down the scale the notes on the G string. So third finger, fifth fret. First finger, third fret. And then end on the root note here on the fifth fret of the D string. So really slowly. So you're going to want to make sure that you double check your pitch to the 8th fret up here on the B string is where you're going to be shooting for with that whole step bend. So it's important that you experiment for yourself using the scales that you already know. It's also important that you bend up to notes that are actually in the scale so the notes sound good, right? So let me give you some tips for using this minor pentatonic scale as far as bending up. On the high E string, if you're playing with your pinky, that highest note on that string, you can bend that up a whole step. Same thing on the next string over. If you're playing the highest note with your pinky on that string, you can bend that up a whole step. Go over here to the highest note on the G string, you can bend that up a half step. And that's actually a note in the blues scale, but it still sounds good, so you can use that. Next string over, the D string, with your third finger here on the fifth ray, you can bend that note up a whole step. And when I bend that, when I get to the lower strings, I generally pull down on the strings instead of pushing up. The next string over the A string, you can play the fifth fret and just bend that up a half step. And that note isn't in the scale, it's in a regular minor scale, but it still sounds good for this context. And the last string, the sixth string, you can bend up a whole step too. Pull up the minor jam track, the one we used when you're learning the minor pentatonic skill, and just work in your bends, experiment around with them, get your fingers in shape, and see what sounds good. So that's just a really simple example of how you can apply some bends to the minor pentatonic scale. And you know, don't be discouraged if you can't do this right away. It's going to take some time to build up your strength and your ability to match the pitch of your bend. So just work on it. Enjoy the process of learning how to bend. Thanks for watching this video. And in the next lesson, we're going to add another really cool technique to your library that'll kick your self-expression up even another notch with your lead guitar skills, and that's vibrato. If you have any questions about bending, leave them below and I'll get back to you. Or you can just email me nate at guitarsystem.com. See ya.